was a match made in heaven, one of the greatest motivators in baseball, managing a crew composed of minor and former major leaguers to bring home America's first baseball gold. Lasorda's team lost to the powerful Cuban 6-1 in the qualifying rounds, setting up what would be the most memorable game in U.S. Olympic baseball history. The gold medal rematch featured pitcher Ben Sheets, who one year earlier was the Milwaukee Brewers' first-round draft pick. The Cubans failed to get a run off Sheets, and only one runner made it as far as second base. Lasorda made his team believe, and they beat international baseball's most dominant team 4 nothing. After winning two World Series rings with the Dodgers, Lasorda had proven he knew what it took to inspire his team. And Tommy Lasorda is one of the many celebrities here tonight at the ESPN Zone. Also joining us tonight, Bob Patterson is with us. Well, let's see, Jason Alexander, Bob, I'm a little confused. Your real name, when the Seinfeld days, certainly. Yeah. Jason Alexander, glad to have you with us. But Bob Patterson, I'm seeing all the promos all over the place. Pretty good motivational speaker you are. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> I think I'm going to give them a run for their money. At least I would say the third best motivational speaker, would you say, in the, in the world, maybe? We can all, I know Tony Robbins is, is getting a little nervous right about now. Yeah. Yes, tell me about your show coming up on ABC this fall here that you're excited about. Indeed. Uh, Bob Patterson is uh, the character in the name of the show, a uh, motivational speaker, a guy who tells you what's wrong with your life and how to make it better, and his is pretty much a complete disaster at all times. Have you written any good motivational books lately? Uh, we have two. Uh, Bob has actually written two books that we yes. intend to pen. One is called uh, I Know More Than You by Bob Patterson. And the uh, very successful sequel, I Still Know More Than You by Bob Patterson. That's pretty good. Those, those should be bestsellers. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure they're on their way. Even though they haven't actually been written, they're on the New York Times bestseller list at this moment. What's your time at the zone here tonight? What do you think so far of this place? This is pretty darn exciting for a boy who would never do any of the things that any of these people are doing. Like vert ramp. You never do what a vert ramp was. Certainly neither one of us did when we were young. In fact, you know, I have no uh, business with either one of those words, vert or ramp. Vert or ramp. Even on the freeway, I, I avoid ramps. I, if I can't get on without a ramp, I don't go. And the motorcycle <laughs> jump, what do you expect? To, as Mike Jones, he's going to do something spectacular up there as he takes this jump in just a little while. Yeah, die would be my uh, <laughs> guess. Is what he, That would be pretty spectacular. If he uh, just, you know, buys it in midair, I think... Uh, there's your, there's your ratings right there. How about coming to Vegas now? Do you, how tough was it for the folks at ABC and ESPN to convince you and talk you into coming here to Vegas and hanging out? You know, they didn't even get the Vegas out. They said, how'd you like to go to Los... And I went, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. It could have been Los Alamos. You know, I, I, it was just a crapshoot that it was here. No, I love this town. I really do. It's one of my favorite places. It's one place to come, hang out here for a little while. And the ABC show, we're looking forward to, to seeing Bob Patterson in the fall. Starring Jason Alexander. God bless you, brother. <laughs> right. ABC, looking forward to that one in the fall and see what happens. And uh, those Seinfeld days, they were, they, they were fun for you too, weren't they? Yeah, that was a show. We did okay there. Show. There's another network. We well, can't talk about it now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go to Kate now. She's got a guest on the red carpet. Yeah, Ron, we're having a lot of fun out here. Now, I know there's a lot of practice fans out there on Sunday nights, and I have one of the, I guess, good lawyers is what we should call you. Mike Bataluga, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, Katie. And and this is just terrific being here. You told me that the practice is the most watched show on ABC here in Vegas. I'm so excited. All the casinos shut down, and they all go up to the rooms and watch the practice. That is terrific news. Yeah, it, you guys are very popular here, obviously. Now, we were just talking a little bit. We're talking sports now. What do you think about that? This place is fantastic. It looks like Radio City Musical. I'm from the city. I'm from Brooklyn. It looks like Radio City Musical. There's all kinds of games inside here that you can play. If you bring your kids, you can play. You get a great meal. There's all kinds of TVs. You can watch the Yankees, the Mets, Kansas City Royals, whatever you want to do. What a place this is. Now, check out that pin. I know what you are going to be rooting for, though. It's not football season, right? I'm a big baseball fan. This is from the Negro League Museum in Kansas City. A great place to visit if you're ever in Kansas City. It tells a great story about some great baseball players. And I know that you are a baseball fan, and we'll be cheering for the Yankees for you. And we the, will be cheering for the Yankees. You know, Mets. I'm in Vegas. I must say I made a bet on the Yankees today. They lost 11-2. to two. I can't believe it. That's the last time. Well, next time. Next bet is always a winner, right? I hope so. Anyway, it's a great place. Come on down, ESPN Zone. What a great place to come and have a lot of fun. All right. Thanks for so much for joining us, Mike. Have a good time today. You. Watch the practice. 10 o'clock, ABC. Or is it 9? I don't know. It's 10. All right. <laughs> thanks, Mike. Take Thank care. You. All right, Ron, there's so much more to come out here. There are so many people out here. So much fun to be had. We'll have more of it in just a bit. All right. Thank okay. you very much. And, uh, Jason, now you, you got a quick shot there of Nadia, Nadia Comaneci up there with Bart Carter, huh? Yeah, don't make it such a quick shot. Linger a little. <laughs> Look how fabulous she looks. 
Still a perfect 10. There's no question about that, wouldn't you say? I, I don't know. I don't my glasses on. But from here, yes, very viable. Think about this, though. It, it, this was the 76 Olympics that she did what she did here. I'm over here. I'm over here, Jason. I'm over here. Uh, this was 76 that she did what she did. It's 20, my math says 25 years. Right. Wow. That would make her at least of age. That's all I know. Her of age and us very old if we could remember back to those Olympics. That's very true. Looking forward to your show coming up in the fall. Motivational speaker Bob Patterson. Tell me about your life a little bit. Now, your life is going to be just a, a total mess in this show, but you're going to try to convince people on, on how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, Bob. Bob has a, uh, a sort of a horrible, fat, 17-year-old, unmedicated son, and he lives with his ex-wife, who is celibate, and nobody knows why. He, they're they're in the house, and uh, just a, a gaggle of strange people at his office as well. So. Sounds like a mess, <laughs> but yeah, a fun show. Pretty much a mess. Yeah, All that's right, pretty Jason, much it. Thank you very much. We'll let you enjoy some of the food here, and have a good time here. Got a big crowd here on the south end of the strip as we get set for the jump coming up in just a couple of minutes. Kerry Hart. Another extreme motorcycle jumper is going to join me here on the stage here as we get set for Madman Mike Jones to make his jump from New York, New York at the grand opening for the ESPN Zone restaurant. Stick around.